The invention of an RIT professor is creating buzz online. Matt Malloy shows us how he's using coffee and science to create art. Today we're actually running a fresh uh, batch of uh, hazelnut, I think, because I, I figured I'd put something in there that smelled nice for you guys. Ted Kinsman isn't a barista. That fresh brew is for his invention, the coffee drip printer. It's pretty easy to do with any kind of ink, but people love coffee, so there's always lots of coffee floating around. Yeah. The assistant professor at RIT used a microprocessor, an XY-axis table, some scraps, and an old Nalgene bottle. It wasn't so much about the art as engaging students. This is just for fun to show them that uh, microprocessors aren't, aren't that scary and that they can, uh, they can do a lot of fun things with microprocessors if they just start thinking about creative projects. It takes about a half cup of coffee to complete one of these portraits. Altogether, you're looking at about 8,000 drops. Here's what the image looks like right now in its in its computer code. That's 8,000 pieces of data, each representing a piece of time the valve is open. Kinsman can also control the size of the drops, creating 70 different shades. Young kids like watching it drip, and uh, they usually want to touch it. It takes about a day for it to dry, so uh, it is not fast, it's not high resolution, it's, it's really only designed for educational stuff. Here's the result of what he printed for us. While the artwork is getting a lot of buzz on the internet, he's got no plans to sell it. He just hopes it will inspire. Hopefully it'll get kids interested in science. You know, they'll look at that and they'll go, hey, you know, uh, I could build that. And they could. Matt Malloy, 13 Wham. The coffee printer will be on display at this year's Imagine RIT event.